The unique thing about Program 2 is all three works were choreographed or actually are inspired by the music, meaning the choreographers were listening to the composition and then were inspired to choreograph specific works for them. So for example, we have Recurred Tidings by Paul Taylor. Paul Taylor's response to Recurred Tidings is really one uh, of tremendous joy and tremendous energy. Uh, the Schubert, the first, the first two, are, um, to me, when I listen to the Schubert score, it's very cinematic in scope. It feels like, it feels big. And you see that in the dancing of, of Paul Taylor. You see that in the costumes by Santa La Croix. So they're beautiful painted costumes. Uh, it's present, it's big, it's bold. It's, um, it's energy, it's raw animal energy. And, and that is really what I, what I hear and what I see when I uh, envision Schubert. What ties these three works together is really the choreographer's response to the music, to the score that they have. And in, in Symphony Three Movements, uh, Stravinsky wrote Symphony Three Movements during World War II and towards the end of World War II, 1945 is when he finished it. And so it was his response to World War II, and I also think it's Mr. Balanchine's response to Stravinsky and knowing that you see, you see a lot of marching, you see it's jet propelled. It's, it's just a response, once again, an artist's response to the, the world uh, really around them. Then you have uh, Twilight Farb's Ninth Sinatra Songs, which is all those wonderful 1950s songs that uh, Frank Sinatra, Old Blue Eyes himself, uh, would sing. So it's social dancing, it's cabaret dancing, it's uh, going out at night with your partner, your boyfriend, and, and it's reminiscing about those, the, really the 1950s, which were, were glorious, kind of very innocent years for the United States. And also, if you, if you listen to the words, if you listen to the lyrics of the songs, you also understand the relationships of all the different couples in Nine Sinatra songs, because they are um, relationships of uh, partners, of individuals, and you know, some are very difficult, some are younger, some are uh, mature relationships, but you get that from the lyrics and it's actually completely directed. You can tie it to the choreography. Every season, every program for me is a journey as it is for dancers, and it's one of the things that we hope the audience will go through this journey with us. And so for program two, what I hope that you will take or what I hope an audience will take from it is for them to understand really how different dance can be. They have, um, some individuals have an idea of what ballet is or what contemporary dance is or modern dance, but dance can be anything. It can be everything and it can take, it can take you to different places at different times. It can make you feel many, many different emotions. And that's what I'm hoping to reveal not only with this season, but also with program two.